Now that we know the cross product and dot product of two vectors, how to evaluate them, let us do an example. So let A is equal to i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap and vector B equal to 3i cap plus 2j cap plus k cap. And now we need to evaluate dot product of A and B and cross product of A and B. A dot B and A cross B. Well, let's start with the dot product. So A dot B is AX BX plus AY BY plus AZ BZ. Okay. It's telling us to just take the components, multiply them and add them up. So AX is 1 into BX, BX is 3 plus AY, BY. AY is 2, BY is 2. Take the yth component of A and the yth component of B. So 2 into 2 plus, well, this is trivial, uh, AZ, BZ. AZ, this is BZ. 3 into 1. And easily we get A dot B is equal to 3 plus 4 plus 3 which is 10. It is a scalar quantity. It has only magnitude, no direction. Now for the cross product. Vector A cross vector B. Okay, it's not the same as B cross A. L. It is A Y B Z. Okay. A Y B Z minus A Z B Y. Okay. And this is the ith component. Plus then A Z B X. Okay, AZ, BX, minus AX, BZ. This is the Jth part. Plus, let me write this down here only. The, now comes for the uh, K component or the Z component. AX, BY. Okay, AX, BY, minus AY, BX. bx k cap and now we just need to plug in the values and find out so ay okay ay is 2 times bz 1 this is 2 minus az by okay az is 2 by az is 3 sorry by is 2 so this will be 3 into 2 6 i cap okay plus AZ BX. So AZ is 3. Okay. BX is also 3. So this will be 9. Minus AX BZ. AX is 1. And BZ is 1. So this will be 1. Uh, J cap. Plus K cap component. AX. This is 1. Into BY. This is 2. This is 2. Minus. AX, AY, BX. So AY is 2 and BX is 3. So this will be 6. AY, BX. Yeah. K cap. So A cross B will be minus 4 I cap plus 8 J cap minus 4 K cap. This is a A dot B and this is a cross B. Now, I want you to check that A cross B. Okay, let's call this some vector C. C is perpendicular to A and B. And how do we do this? Look, just take the dot product of A with C. See, the dot product is A C cos theta. Okay, so the magnitudes are clearly not zero. So if this turns out to be zero, which means theta, the angle between uh, two of them should be 90 degrees, pi by two radians. Okay, let's evaluate, evaluate the dot product. Again, multiply the components and add them up. So AX, CX, okay, this is minus four. Okay, one into minus four. Then multiply these two, we get plus 16. And then multiplying these two, we get 
minus 12. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12 and which is 0. Okay? 0. So this means since magnitudes of either of A or B, none of them is 0, which means the only thing which possible only thing possible is cos theta equal to 0, which happens at theta pi by 2. So the angle between them is by 2 or they are perpendicular. Now as a homework, I want you to uh, check, evaluate some things. So first, find the magnitude of A, okay, then find the magnitude of B, find the magnitude of A cross B, oops, A cross B, magnitude, okay, and uh, find B, B cross A. This, is, this was A cross B, find B cross A mm. and find the angle between A and B. Okay, now pause this video and try to answer them and write your answers in the comment section. So, if you want a hint to evaluate this a, a, angle between them, We'll just use this these properties that the formula for them, okay? And a cross with some vector say c is a c the magnitude, okay? Sine theta. So once you know the magnitudes of all of them, you can evaluate the theta. With that being said, let us talk about another quantity, another vector called the null vector. Remember we said addition of two vectors gives a vector. Okay. Right. Now we can simply choose B as minus A. Okay. This can be. This is very possible. So we get A vector A minus vector A. What is this? This will be zero. But the difference of two vectors should be a vector and zero is not a vector. Hmm. Well, we can call this quantity a minus a as zero with arrow on top and we call this the null vector, okay? Vector with magnitude zero. So this is our null vector. And this is mostly for uh, mathematical consistency for the, for the equations. And physically, it doesn't have much significance no significance almost no significance so important thing is it has no direction its direction is undetermined okay that's one thing and let, let us do some operations with a null vector so any vector a okay we add the null vector to it we will get the same vector okay and the, the, the properties might seem obvious but still I am writing them any vector a okay cross with null vector is null vector itself and similarly a vector a and vector a some magnitude a okay multiplied with the null vector it gives not zero but the null vector Okay, so again, what is the use of this null vector? First of all, mathematical consistency, and second, mathematicians tend to generalize things a lot. So, this is three dimensions vector. We are talking about mathematicians like to talk in n dimensions, generalizing things. So, when you take linear algebra, okay, you will study some very in a very general form, n dim uh, some have a vector space, okay, vectors are represented like this. And there are a subset of a vector space or a linear vector space. So when you do describe these things, then the vector notion of null vector represented as this, this thing. Okay. Now this bracket is called a ket. So the ket x. Okay. So the notion of null vector comes in handy sometimes. And that's it for today. Do write your answers in the comment section and all. And as always, thanks for watching.